Yo, what's up guys, Luke Callahan here and welcome to the Disc Golf Kid channel. If you enjoyed that intro and you like all disc golf content, make sure to subscribe because we do stuff like that all on this channel. If you haven't watched the front nine already, make sure to go watch that. It'll pop up probably right up here. Um, we got some awesome players and an awesome course here. Brad Ramsey, we got his score wrong on the, on the end of the front nine. He's actually 13 down instead of 11 down. So apologize to him, he's actually making a late charge. Everyone really in striking distance. This is a long, windy course, pretty wide open. So we're gonna see some awesome shots by some awesome players. All right, guys, here we are on hole 10. Still got Disc Golf Dad in the booth. What's up, guys? You wanna do a score check? Yeah, yeah, they just saw, uh, like you said a second ago, 18 down, Chris here has the box. He just got the birdie on nine. If you haven't watched that, Luke already mentioned it, but go watch it. Front nine was awesome. Looks like a slow fairway or a mid-range from Chris. <clears throat> He'll be around 40 feet, would you say? That sounds there? about right. 30 or 40 on the safe side. That creek over there is OB. Yep. Did anybody on your card actually find the creek, or is it pretty far away from the pin? Um, I had one card mate first round find the creek. This was our last hole of the day, about 100 feet short, and then threw it in for his par save. Nice. So, shout out to him. Ryan, if you're out there watching, nice shot. Good rip, Barry. If for some reason Get you in. missed... Ooh. Woo, wow. If for some reason you missed the first nine, that's Barry Schultz, man, the myth, the legend. Oh, yeah. If you are new to disc golf, he is OG greatness. Yeah, he's Still greatness sure. now, but he's been greatness for a yeah, very long time. Yeah, he's still, what, 1030 rated? Yeah. Actually, his rating went up yesterday, 1031. Dang. Nice. Yeah, that's really good if you guys don't know much about disc golf. And Brad Ramsey with a great looking pull. That's that might get oh, in. Oh, okay, a little short. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's a nice shot there. They're all right around circle's edge, would you say? Sounds about right. Just because Barry went a little bit long, I think. The lefty, the lefty Austin, yep. Stepping on the box, probably throwing a hyzer here. Right you are, sir. That looks way wide. Oh, it's coming back in and skipping. And I don't okay, know he if you is could hear actually it, almost parked. But he called parked right out of his hand. As wide as that looked, he really? absolutely knew that where that was landing. Okay, so I'm Okay, so Chris is outside circle, but it looks like everyone else is inside circle, I believe. His patented step through putt, lining it up. Oh. To be on the pro side, that was a lot of chains. Yeah. Great putt from Brad. Dead center, Brad. Nice. Brad, if you don't know him, he's probably the least like recognizable as far as, far as household names in disc golf. He is here in the local area, thousand ten or eleven rated after this tournament. Yeah, Solid yeah. he's really good. Killing it, too. This I thought it was Drew Gibson at first. <laughs> they do look similar and so muscular. Yeah. Barry from right around Circle's Edge. Drains it. Wanted the one back from the last hole, but yeah. that one will work. And CTP. Lefty. Right on the pole. Good putt from Austin. Adam. <laughs> Austin. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I had it right the first time, and then I miss, messed it up. We got a tight one. That's a big And then we have a, a foot fault from Chris Dickerson, stroke violation there. I'm kidding. It was a joke. Um, like I was saying, that, that's a big par from Chris because that let the whole card get a stroke on him. We've got a three-stroke match now. Yeah. Who is that on the tee? I didn't see. I missed it. Barry. Okay, so a solid shot there from Barry. He's what? 35 feet? Yeah, inside that. I would say 20. Oh, really? He skipped okay. it right off with a little flare skip back to the basket. Nice. Brad here looking like a mid-range, I think. That sounds right. It looks like a Malta. Mm. 
Not a Malta. Good looking line. That might need to go. Yeah, go. Oh gosh, right in the middle of the green. If you haven't watched the front nine, well, first just go watch it. But that's not characteristic. Brad has been yeah. parking holes like this all day. For sure. Austin, the lefty, got to throw a flick here. Looks like a ESP bottom stamped Raptor, the Ulibarri Tour Series edition. That looks like a really good shot. That's a great line. So skip off the green. Wow. Sit. Ooh. Oh, did that roll? I can't see. We'll see when we get up there. I can't tell. Yeah. Could be great if it like curled back to the pin. Is he throwing a putter? That's a putter. Putter is out from Chris Dickerson. How far was this actually playing? Well, with the hyzer probably playing 330. Okay. It, I think it said 300 even, but throwing that big of a hyzer playing well over that. Oh, that's gliding perfect. Is that oh, going to get yeah. there? Yeah. I used that's it. such a good shot. Great shot from Chris, right at like 15 feet probably. Set up all these rules since he's playing from OB just for anybody that missed the front nine. Get oh, over. get over. Oh, oh my, my goodness. So if you're OB, you have to play it from where you were but last I mean, like in balance. Like what OBs? Okay, the OB is the golf greens, all golf greens, all sand bunkers, and then beyond most paths, get cart hole, paths. Brad. Get in the hole. Come on, make it. Oh, that, how far did that go? It looks like a 20-footer still uphill. Oh, man. Okay, so go back to the rules, sorry. So he, since he went OB on the golf green, he has to play from where he was last in bounds, which was still like 100 feet out. Because that's a long golf green. So So all greens, all bunkers, all creeks, yep. all cart paths. Barry here for his birdie. About 23, 24 feet probably. Drains it. Beautiful. Good Such putt. a good putter. Yep. <coughs> Sorry Looks about that. like Chris has CTP with that putter. Yep, definitely. Austin here, trying not to fall down the hill. Got his jawbreaker roach in hand. What a great camera angle. This cameraman is <laughs> something else. Just wow, amazing. Best I've ever seen. Yeah. Chris Dickerson here, probably 15 feet. Just a little bit of a tap in, hopefully. Okay, nice yep, putt. good butt. Since they're tapping in and we mentioned the camera, quick disclaimer on a serious note, my tripod broke after the last hole, so the rest of the round is gonna be a little shaky. Uh, you can blow up the comments if you feel it necessary, but bottom line is I did my best. <laughs> yeah, and a good putt from Brad there to Great save putt. his double bogey. Yeah, he really, that's, that's a that's brutal. That's gonna hurt, He yeah. was just getting back into the mix, too. A lot, of, a lot of golf left, we'll see what happens. Okay, set this one up. Hole 12, 795 foot par four downhill, probably playing 650 if I had to guess. It plays so much shorter than that. Austin ripping a forehand out there, that's a good spot. Left is really nice because you have the better angle at the basket for your second shot. I'm glad you said that. So, so really down what it looks like the fairway is of the golf course is not necessarily position A, maybe a little left. No. No, um, it's it's still fine. I was right in front of the golf green first round, and I had an easy little flick up and down, but you can't see the basket from over there, okay. so it's like a little harder on yourself because you have to Chris. trust something. Yeah, that's bombed. Get down. Whew. That's ripped, yeah. Looked like the new FX2, I think, that Prodigy just came out with. Brad on the box after an unfortunate hole. Did we miss Barry's drive? Barry threw it left. Did he? Okay. And, unless that's another clip that got um, contaminated. It might be. We had a couple clips that um, were corrupted, guys. A couple stay of. Stay inbound. Stay. St st okay. He's Get good. it? Okay. He, he did. I couldn't see. If we did miss that clip, which we might have just missed it, you're, he did go. Barry threw it left over the cart path out of bounds. Really? Yes. Oh, gosh. I think we did miss that because I don't remember seeing yeah, that. Sorry about that, guys. There's there's a clip or two we'll try to address. That just The footage is contaminated. I, I don't know what happened, but I couldn't get it back. I couldn't get those clips back. Yeah. Okay, Austin's in trouble. From, not from a great a shot, position. yeah. He was 
pretty short off the tee, but still right in the middle. I was expecting a up and down there from him. Brad, tough approach through the trees, but he was inbound, so this is still his second shot. Yep, that needs to turn over, it looks like. Oh. oh, no. How thick are those bushes? I wasn't in them in either of my rounds, but I was up next to them, and they were pretty dang thick. I saw Big Germ in the first round get in there, and he was in there for a few minutes. I still yeah. got it out and up and down for par, but it looked... Deadly. Okay, so this is Barry's third shot now after the OB. Okay. You see he's marked it right there by the cart path where he went yep. out. Doesn't look like he's taking his meter. Pro strats. That looks pretty good. Just oh, right up there. Yeah, actually a little bit short. He's sure still going to have a tester for his par. Yeah. The way Barry puts from inside circle, I'll put my money on him. Yeah. Chris here, I assume throwing some sort of putter from his ripped drive. Chris, yet again, position A, way down a fairway. Yeah. That looks a little early. Nope, it's parked. Yeah, a very little early. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it was a great tiny shot. bit early. Okay, so Austin still has a putt from here, actually. Mm -hmm. Especially being lefty helps because he's straddling Kinda does. away from and the tree. And he's been making long putts today. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Almost Kansas. Great run. Great run, Austin. Brad forced to have some sort of, like, any flick putt from here. Yeah, he's just yeah, taking just his medicine. Laying up, taking a par. And then Barry... Some nice shaky camera angles. I apologize, Tom. Okay. <laughs> Barry from about 20. Oh, that is uncharacteristic. That was actually more like 25, but yeah, you don't usually see Barry miss those. Good birdie from Chris. Oh, and he's just stretching that lead. He will yeah. not let them get close to him. Taking a stroke on the whole card plus um, two strokes on Barry who is closest to him, so that's a killer. That is a killer. Just like that, back to a five-stroke lead. Yeah. Tons of golf, tons of long golf. Got a tight one here. For Set sure. this one up. Hole 13, 295. Got to throw it through these trees. Plays way harder than it looks. Um, I missed the gap both rounds, actually. <laughs> As we see Chris parking that. It may be a little long, it but might he looked be. like it he looks... nailed it. And now we got a what new is line. Austin I'm up here. guessing you didn't what is see this. this? <laughs> I didn't even think to look up there. Austin, what are you doing? Yoga pants. He's doing no. that. That might need to get down actually. That's ripped. Oh. Where'd he go? I didn't right see it. to the right of the basket, just okay. over the top of the pin. I did not see it, but like great shot. Yeah, As you can like hear him saying, I don't like going down the middle. <laughs> Typical Austin. Nice. All right, I think Barry just said, Brad. must be nice. <laughs> yep, Brad on the box. Probably some sort of mid range. That looks really smooth. Go in. Okay. Little short, right. but pretty parked. Went from looking like an ace run to an absolute park. Gotta job. be a park job, yeah. For sure. Here's Barry probably taking the high, big Annie flex. <laughs> <laughs> Kidding, if you've never seen Barry play. He's a woods golfer, so that that's exactly what he does. Barry will hit that tight gap 100 out of 100 times. <laughs> that's why he is 1,030 rated. Chris Dickerson out here. With like a 25-footer. They That's made this crazy. hole look a little easy, didn't they? Yeah. I think I saw one or two birdies on this hole. Bang, and yeah. he's relentless. Great Good putt. putt. I saw one birdie on this hole the whole tournament. It's not an easy hole. Yeah, the distance is deceiving, isn't it? Because yeah. it's downhill, tight gap. Oh, oh, Austin. Get out of the weight room, Austin. Come on now. He actually does look like he spins... Good amount of time in the weight room. <laughs> he does. He's a little fit. Speaking of fit, Brad Ramsey here <laughs> tapping yeah, it. It's all relative. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Good pub by Brad. That's a great two. And then Barry 
I'm shocked that Barry CTP'd the hole with the tight gap. That's crazy. Austin losing another stroke to Chris here, though. Uh, Chris just won't stop birdieing. I mean, yeah. he's not giving him much of a chance. You want to set this one up? Yeah. I mean, the downhill, obviously what you see there, which is just tons of trouble left, that's probably the safest line you could throw right there. That's great, yeah. Out to the right, just take a stable disc that you know is going to kind of skip back in, but just take water out of play, especially with a five-stroke lead. That's got to be the... I bet that's the exact line. Like, he probably wasn't even thinking about running, going straight at the pin. Yeah. That's right where he was aiming. This sets up perfect for Brad. If you didn't watch the front nine, um, this type of hole, he, he just does it really well with. He smooths little baby hyzers. For sure. As well as anybody. And do you know what disc he's throwing here? Looks like a driver of some sort. A fairway? Oh, yeah, I think it might have even been a mid. I mean, see how it flies. It kind of dumps a little. He got it up high. Come on, it, fade back. Oh, that looks ideal. Skip in. A little bit of a dud skip, but, I mean, it's on the pole, okay. so you can't Under complain at all. It's a great shot by Brad. This hole is not quite as easy as those first two sh shots let on. Yeah. Definitely not easy. Um, I saw too many bogeys on this hole. Just people in the water or people airing too far? I didn't on the see safe one side. shot in the water. I saw... Okay. Oh, Maybe come on, skip. Skip. It's a good shot. Go, 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 go. Yep, that's good. Circle's edge. I saw four or five shots just too safe turned over over the cart path, OB. Oh, God. okay. So four or five, like yeah. Shanked. I was thinking, I was wondering if people would just come up too far out to the right, and then it was starting to get a little windy, maybe just three putt or something. Yeah. Okay, lefty. Tough hole for a lefty. Way out over the water, trusting it. Get in. Oh, my. Another ace run from Austin. Great oh, shots. terrible roll. Trust yeah, that wind was left to right, and just once it hit, it just yeah. rolled away. All right, he's got this. Come on. Circle's edge putt from Austin. Up. <sighs> Never got above the lip of the basket. Yeah. I mean, I'm assuming the water was just in the background in his head a little bit didn't want to go long by any means in ob so can chris keep up this pace yes, yes he can. is the answer is that three in a row it is no it's four in a row it might be four it's four no is it five it might be five in a row Barry putting in his birdie, great shot, and then I think we missed. No, Brad's Chris timing. missed ten. Our first hole of really? this of this round, remember, because he let okay. everybody Oof. back in it. But then he's he's he went par and four birdies. Okay. Great shot there. Might be a little right. What's over this hill? Set this one up because it's a tough one. Um, over the hill <coughs> it drops off. The basket is on a little mound. That you want to do that? Beautiful. Whoa. Like exactly that. Great shot from Brad. You want to just trust something up there. Ideally landed a little short so that you don't go all the way down the hill because there's OB long, by the way. Was Barry's a little short or did his get all the his way? His was a little short, okay. yep. Austin with the best day ever, Dan Hastings stamped disc. Get go, in. Go, go, go. Oh, it's short. Not short, too. These guys were given a lot of respect, so it's a total kind of death butt down the back yes, end, right? Yes, Okay. Wow, nice and green here. This is the type of putt, this is the length putt he's been nailing all day, though. Yeah, for sure. Get it. Oh, my Unbelievable. gosh. That is a terrifying putt to run. As soon as I pan over, I'm hoping uh, you can you? see that. Okay, I mean, I've got to for some of the other putts, I would think. Let's see. It's just straight death behind the basket. Barry a little closer, but same putt. If you if you happen to airball, which these guys are so good, they're probably not even thinking about airballing, but if you do. Yeah, for sure. It is a terrifying putt. I laid up both rounds. Oh, oh sick. Okay. okay, you can start to see the hill there. There Look it is. Look at that, yeah. So Crazy. Chris is closer than those two, but has a little work. Yep, it's up. Oh my word. Incredible. It's just foot to the pedal right now. Barry tapping in his par. Okay, par three. Set it up. Blind. 
basket. Cannot see Can't the pin. Can't see it off the tee. Yep. Hole 16, 345, par 3. All these players are going to be ripping a hyzer, just letting it fade in towards the basket, mm -hmm. which is in a little cove. Pins just left of the cart path. Yep. And that might be long. Let's get down. Is it? It looks pretty good from here. I it, don't know. It's a good line he needed to get down because the cart path comes in. We'll see when we get down there. Here Brad, we go, Brad. Throwing some sort of driver. A little bit of Annie flexing out of it. That looks really good. That's the right line. That's perfect. Go in. Did it, did it go in? It's in. What? It's, he made That's it. That's the ace. The ace is on the hole that we don't even get to Listen, see it go Austin in on. says it right here. <laughs> He's got to ace the only hole. You can't video the basket. Fans out there, I'm sorry. That was the best view I had. Wow. There's a spotter up there who waved it, said it was in. That's a good shot, too, that's from Austin. Shot. Yeah. Wow. That's, that's the way to gain strokes when Chris is on a roll like that. I it mean, is. I mean, it's hard to beat an ace. Great ace, Brad. Good turnover there from Barry. Oh, kind of Kind of weird ground back. reaction, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Here Congratulations, he is. Brad. Yeah, great freaking shot, dude. That's awesome. That hole played so much harder than it looks. And I just feel terrible. I mean, he should have a highlight reel ace on camera. That's the only hole out of 18 that we couldn't have watched it go in. Yeah. That's... So real quick, Chris found out he was out of bounds. So this oh, is me gosh. just looking back while he's having to throw. He's throwing three as a re-tee because he never crossed inbounds. So this is a huge swing. Yeah. Brad's in for one. He's throwing three from the tee box. Yes. So hopefully only losing three strokes. Uh, went took it way up. Where'd it go? Even higher, cameraman. There it go. There it is. <laughs> Oh, no. He still has work left for his bogey. Yeah, he does. That's a lot of work. So if he makes this, he still loses three strokes to Brad. That's correct. Let's see. Get it. Oh, my oh wow. Oh, gosh. Was that like the top of the cage? It was the top of the cage. We missed a couple clips and a more contamination. Austin and Barry are both in for par. Austin missed his birdie putt. He did. Mr. Ace has the box, surprisingly. <laughs> Great shot there, right in the middle of the fairway. Oh, set this hole up. I mean, talk about the monster of oh, all gosh. monsters. So this is a 1,111 oh, par five. Oh, Austin. Austin, get down. Please get down. Oh, my gosh. Well, that's OB across the cart path. That's... Okay, continue with this setup. So it's 1,111 foot par five. Really, you have to rip every single shot if you want a chance at birdie. It's so long. It's, it's farther than hole five at Winthrop, if you guys can imagine that, by almost 100 feet. Barry getting a, li a little high. I mean, yep. he's still got some distance. My guess is he was never intending on trying to get there, even in three shots. Yeah. Did you have anyone on your card get to the green in regulation in three shots? No. No, not even close. Yeah, and that's in three, folks. Normally on a par five that's wide open, somebody's thinking about trying to get home in two and get an eagle putt. This thing is just a beat. And it's pretty uphill on the tee, isn't it? Yeah. This first shot. For sure. You, you want to get it to the top of the hill to have a chance for birdie. Chris is a very long thrower of discs. Just letting out all his anger from that last double oh. buggy. That's ripped. Oh, my. That's on the top of the hill. <laughs> I didn't, I'm not kidding. I didn't see anyone within 100 feet of that. That's 500 plus uphill. It's so far. Great line from Barry here, too. Yeah, it kind of like his tee shot. It kind of failed out to really? the left. More, more okay. than he wanted. He started it on Annie. I just couldn't hold it. Gotcha. Now Austin throwing three. And that's got to be killing him because he's got the distance to yeah, make this hole sure. easy. That's ripped, though. That's on ripped. straight hyzer, that that's hyzer crushed. Chris, look. He's all the way up on the flat spot. 
That's throwing two. I mean, yeah, throwing two. That's so stupid. Oh. Same disc. Don't go in the sand. Don't go in the sand. Oh no. Did it go? Oh I saw my it gosh, skip. it skipped. Yeah. Okay. Good camera work here. Looking at the grass. Did his go in the bunker? Or was it safe right there? It's just short. Wow, that was close. I believe. Okay. I believe it was just short. Wow. So that's his third shot. So now he's still throwing four from down there. Yeah. This is Austin throwing four because of the OB stroke. Did he slip? It he looked did. like he just he slipped. He was just in the mud. You were in that fairway, wasn't it? Just disgusting. It was terrible. Oh. oh. Wow. Chris right, having a Chris. little putter approach here for birdie. I mean, up and a down for birdie. Still baby shot. Oh, that's incredible. Sit. Okay. Decent from that distance. Yeah, he'll have a 15 footer left, but, which isn't what he wanted, I'm assuming, but it's still fine. Yeah, and for birdie on this hole. Oh my three. gosh, Barry almost Great made shot, that. Barry. Look how muddy this green is. Yeah, it's just so muddy. Brad, from about 120 ish. Throwing a nice little approach. That's looking good. Nice and soft. <gasps> oh, my. That hit chains. That hit a lot of chains. That hit chains and basket. Oh, He's, man. That's two holes in a row. That would have kept him within three of Chris. That sounds Is that right. correct? I mean, great shot. Oh, my man. word. That. Brad, what are you doing out there, man? <laughs> you got to. Oh, my word. I had to be someone wind gust that I didn't. That's See. just sailed. It like picked up as it was going instead of dropping. Chris here for birdie and to pretty much shut the door. This would seal it. Honestly, Got it. honestly missing it would have sealed it too. Let's Probably. be honest. <laughs> yeah. Austin here for his bogey. Is, is that for bogey um, or double bogey? No matter what, good putt from Austin. That was double. He had two penalty strokes. Oh gosh. All the way back down to 14. Barry tapping in, and then Brad tapped in, I assume. Hole 18, 560-foot par 4. If I had to guess, playing as one of the easier holes on the course, just because of how short it is for a par 4. But, I mean, still so much OB out there. There's the green, the bunker, the water. There's it's, The basket is on a huge mound. So did Chris throw it to position A? Um... He definitely did. It might be a little too far, like, back. It's obviously being as close to the water as possible. You have, like, a better line, in my opinion. But he's no problem. Like, it's still going to be perfect. I would think with a few-stroke lead, he was aiming. Right, right. For that safe edge. Great shot there from Brad. Mm -hmm. All the way from there. Barry on the box. This is going to be a tough hole for Austin, too, as a lefty. Mm. That's going to be tricky. Probably going to throw a flick. Barry throwing some sort of distance driver here. Look at that truss. Throwing it on Annie over the water. Knowing that it's going to fight back right in the middle. Perfect shot. Yeah, that's... I assume he just threw it exactly where he wanted because he never misses a line, ever. It's Barry Schultz. <laughs> He's going back in. He is, yeah. I mean, that lines up. Just put it out safe and let it fade back towards the green. Yeah. That ESP disc he's thrown all day, that needs to not do that. There's a cart path back there, which is way over. Oh, no. Not even three, I don't think. Is he playing that? I thought he was OB. Is that cart path not playing OB? I'm pretty sure that it was not. Okay. Because he threw it from here and he consulted with all the other card mates, so. Interesting. I assume they all know the rule. Yeah. Okay. Decent shot. Yeah. I think that got up to inside the circle shot. down that hill. He'll be fine from there. Have a good look for birdie. Brad, to cap off what has to be a great tournament for him, I mean. Yeah. Averaging well above his rating. I mean, still a high-rated player, but he's averaging, what What did we say, 1040? I think 1042. That's yeah. crazy. Great and shot. Look at that touch. End it with a birdie, hopefully. Still got a bit of a death putt left. Barry 
Throwing a putter as well. That's looking pretty good. It's looking amazing. Pretty good, like, under the basket. <laughs> pretty good, like, touching the pole. Chris, going back to that. And this is just a victory putter. dance right here. Yeah. He could I mean, jump putt his way up to the basket. Yep. But he's still going to park it for birdie. In style. Great approach. Great round from these guys. Wow. Austin All right. Here. The distance that Austin has been crushing all day. It's almost like he should have laid back to this 30, 33 feet. Yeah, come on. End on a good one. Yes. <laughs> That's how you end your tournament. Good putt. Rough final round, but, I mean, great putt to finish it off. Wow. He, how many of those did he make? We should We should, we should have him counted up. them, yeah. yeah. I would have to guess off the top of my hand six. It was a lot. It was the main thing is he made everything from that distance. Yeah. He missed a couple shorter ones. Chris, to just seal it, I mean, I suppose he if you want up. some suspense, he could hit the basket and roll into the lake. He uh, could have laid up a foot each time. He made still it. <laughs> Great putt there from Chris. Brad here to end on a birdie as well. Okay, nice putt. Great putt. And then Barry under the basket. For his birdie. Wow, what a great round. Wow, guys, what an awesome video. We got some awesome players here. Chris Dickerson shooting freaking 23 under par. Barry and Brad tied at 18 down, and then Austin at 14 down, all averaging way above their rating, playing amazing golf. I mean, it's no wonder why Chris is the fifth best player in the whole world. Just playing amazing lights out golf. From someone who throws kind of far, playing that course was insane. It's so long, windy, open. It's just an awesome course, and I would highly recommend everyone to try and get into the tournament next year if you can. Um, but thank you guys for watching this video. If you're new, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, comment down below, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace out.